Welcome to the blog 41. This is Business 135, fun with Excel and math. Hey, we're on sheet tab number, markup on cost two. And again, we have our little template, our assumptions, and our drawing. Hey, let's look at this example. Markup on a basketball is 14 bucks. Markup on cost is 50%. Whoa, they gave us two different pieces. The one before they gave us the cost and the sell price. But this one, they're giving us a rate and um, one of the dollar figures. So the markup and the markup percent. So here it is. Same formula, um, just cost plus markup equals sell price. Base, because we're doing cost, part, part, 100%. Oh, yeah, base is always 100%. And then rate, rate. Look at this. We plug our numbers in, put the 50% there and the 14 there. Now, look at this. Anytime we have a part, do, a dollar amount figure, and the rate, we can automatically get the base. That's one of our formulas. So what we're going to do in this one is we're going to solve for the pieces and then plug it in. So I wrote the initial one here, and then I have one where with all the plugged in numbers here. So part divided by rate equals the base equals cost in our case. So we take 14 bucks, divide by 0.5, boom, 28. So I put that down there. Now we have a 14 and a 28. So we can say our cost plus our markup, and now we can get our sell price, sell price of 42. So we put that right there. Once we have that, we can solve for our remaining. Actually, we could have already solved for it this way. This is just 100 plus 50. So we add those together, 100 plus 50. Let's go ahead and do it. Over here, our markup on the basketball dollar wise is right there, 14 bucks. 14 dollars. And we know the cost rate is 100% because the base is always 100%. And the markup rate is going to be 50%. Right? So we need to plug in our numbers. We have a cost rate, enter, and a markup rate. Enter. Notice this is um, 10, so I didn't put in the proper amount. I'm going to uh, put in 100 there, so it's 100%. And boom, our little formula updates there. So there we got that. And then we have a markup um, dollar amount, so equals this 14. I can't really see this. So I'm going to have to make it a little bit smaller. There we have, um, anytime you have a, a part and the related rate, you can do the division to get the base. So let's do that here. And we did some, we're going to do division. And even though there's not any decimals here, we're still going to use our round. So when we get into a situation where there's lots of decimals, we already know how to do it. Equals round, open parentheses. Look at that screen tip right there. That screen tip is right in the way. Here's a cool little trick. Uh, this is the Rakita trick. Rakita taught me this. When you point to the screen tip and you see that, not that cursor, that one right there with that funny little, ah, there it is, that one right there. Now we can click and move that out of the way. Hey, get out of the way. All right, so 14 divided by this 50. And this is a dollar figure, so it's rounded to the 2 because we're going to pennies. Percents. Um, you can do the percent uh, wherever you want. For us, we're always going to have those two extra ones, so we're going to go to the four. Dollars, sorry, it's pennies, so we're always going to go to the two. Control enter. 28 bucks. Now we can add these up and get our sell price. I'm going to alt equals 42. And here we can add these up too. Alt equals. Again, if you wanted to, you could also take 42 divided by uh, 28 and get 150. All right, let's do our next one. Um, markup on cost three. Look at this one here. We have a financial calculator, and the cost is 2360. And the markup on cost is 25%. Again, we will be able to solve for everything just from two pieces of information. Base is always 100%. And in this case, they gave it to us. They gave the cost, which is the ba base, 2360. And then they gave us the markup percent, which is 25. Well, we know if we know the base and some rate, multiply those together. Because this is, remember, it's 0.25, uh, 25 out of 100 parts. So this is, we take this percentage times that, and it gives us the part here. Base times rate equals part equals 2360 times 0.25 equals 590. Put that there. Now we have 
cost and markup, we just add those together, boom, get sale price. You can see how we did that calculation there, like that. And then here again, we can just add those up. Let's go do it in Excel. Again, this is a markup on cost, so the base is always what? Yeah, 100%. Uh, markup rate we're given is 25. The cost we are given also 2360. Now let's go ahead and do our uh, move all these numbers down here. So the cost rate equals that. Markup rate equals that. Cost equals this. And let's go ahead. I'm going to do it unrounded first and see what a messy number uh, we get, and then go ahead and round it. Let's um, take the base times the rate. And see what we get. Control enter. 590. Hmm. Let's increase the decimals. Oh, it didn't didn't mess us up there. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. Just to remind you, round. And who can tell me? Is this going to be a two or a four? You got it. This is to the penny, so it's a two. Now our sell price we can add up. Alt equals enter. 2950. Finally, over here, we can add these up. We could also do a division, right? This divided by this. But this is pretty straightforward. These both are already exactly the right numbers we want, so we'll just add them up. And there we have it. Again, the beauty of this is we're just given two parts, and we can solve for all the rest. Let's click on our next sheet tab, Markup on Cost 4. Here are our assumptions, here's our little template, and here's our problem here, our hand-drawn one. Make it a little bit bigger. Oh, baseball glove. Selling price is 42 bucks. The sell price as a percent of cost is 140. Notice they gave us two different pieces of information. But I bet that we can still solve for all the rest. As long as we have something here and something here, we can solve for all the rest. What is the cost of the baseball glove? So they want to know, what is the cost? Well, here we go. Watch this. Here's a rate and a related amount. Once you have that, you can always solve for base. So here it is. 42 or part divided by rate equals base. In our case, uh, the sell price part and the sell price rate. Sell price as a percentage of cost, 140. So, uh, and notice uh, we said this in chapter 1 and 2, if we divide any number by a number bigger than 1, the result will always be smaller than the numerator. Similarly, last chapter we saw a situation, whenever this number is less than 1, that means the result will be bigger than the numerator. But let's do it. When we do it, we get 30 bucks. So we slap the 30 bucks right there. Um, and then we have 42, I'm sorry, down here, 42 and our 30. So this one's pretty straightforward. We know the difference is going to be our markup. So we can say 42 minus 30 equals markup of 12. <laughs> Put that there. Then we can either do this a few ways. We're going to do it the easy way. Notice this is 100 plus this equals that. So we know if something added to this equals that, and we know this and that, we can take 140 minus 100% and get... 40%. So that's what we did here. Let's go do it in Excel. Cost rate, these are still markup on cost, 100%. Markup rate, we are not given. But guess what? We're given the sell price rate, 140. Preformatted, so we see that percent size enter. The sell price is what we're given here, and this is 42. Let's go ahead. I'm going to decrease the size. And the cost rate, base is always 100%. So I'm going to say uh, equals that right there. Enter, enter equals the sell price rate or sell price as a percentage of cost, 140. Over here, we're given our sell price equals 42. Now, up here for cost, there's, there's other ways to do this. You actually could solve for this and then get that and that. But we're going to go ahead and start here, and we're going to do some division. So I'm going to say equals round, open parentheses, the related part divided by the related rate. And this is for dollars, so we need to round to the two, which is for pennies. Control, enter. 
right here, the markup, this is pretty straightforward, 42 minus 30, so equals 42 minus 30. Enter, enter. And finally, we have here, same, hey, look, that's the same formula there. Um, we're going to say equals the bigger one minus the smaller one. And there we've solved the, uh, given two bits of information, we did four cost problems, each one that gave us two different information, and we could always solve for all the remaining pieces. Hey, let's click on markup on sell price. Hey, we're going to do our first markup on sell price problem. Let's go ahead, I'm going to increase the size here a little bit. Look at our drawings here first. Hey, if the cost of the boomerang is 20 and the sell price is 30, find markup in dollars, percent markup based on sell price, and percent of cost based on sell price. So guess what? This is a markup on sell price. As soon as you hear that, you're like, ding, ding, ding. Oh, the base is sell price. There's the 30. There's the base. Base is always 100%. So here we go. We plug in our... Um, numbers, 20 goes there, 30 goes there. Notice we did this problem in our markup on cost, but since this is markup on sell price, the base is different than our resulting markup on sell price will be different. So I put my 30 and my 20 and my 100 there. Um, sell price minus cost, of course, equals markup. So we do that calculation and throw that there. And then we got to sc scroll over here. And the next thing we're going to solve for is now that we have 20, 10, and 30 over here, let's go ahead and solve for our markup on sell price percent. 10 divided by 30. So we have a part and a base. If we know part and a base, we do that division and we get our um, markup on sell price percent. So. Part base, 20, 30, two thirds, 0 0.33333333. Um, 33 and one third percent, or when we do an Excel, we'll just round to the four, so it'll actually be 33.33%. Now, how do we solve for this remaining piece? 100% minus 33 and one third percent. I know that's 33 equals 66 and two thirds percent. By the way, if, well, yeah, we're going to, so when we round this in Excel, um, actually, we won't. Once we round this, when we do the subtraction, we'll get, what it will give us is 66.67 percent. That's what we'll actually do in Excel. 100 minus 33.33, because that thing will be rounded and it will pop out that. Let's go ahead and do this. This is exciting. Our first markup on sell price, and the only difference from the cost one is what the base is. Let's go ahead and say uh, cost rate. Well, we don't know that. Markup rate, we don't know that. Sell price rate, guess what? We do that. We do know that because base is always 100%. Cost is 20. Enter, enter, 30 for sell price. Let's go ahead and fill this out. Cost rate, where that was from the cost problem, we got to come down here. Hey, sell price rate, base is always what? 100%. Come over here to cost equals the cost, and the sell price is the same. But when we do our calculations, we're comparing everything to a different base. Hey, but this first one's the same. Hey, let's figure out what the markup is. Just in a, just as it, when we started our discussion for Chapter 7, we noticed that the markup is the same. The actual dollar markup is always going to be the same. But when we talk about our percents, because we have a different base, the percents are going to be different. So let's click to, um, here and say equals 30 minus 20. Enter. 10 bucks. Now let's come over here, and we'll do it the messy way first, and then we'll put our round. But we know part, base, so we do the division, we will get um, a decimal, and when we format it, we'll get our percent. So let's just do it without the uh, round. First equals 10 divided by 30. Control Enter. Ooh, looks like it's pre-formatted. It looks right, but let's just increase the decimals. Look at that. There's all those extra. Keeps on going actually up to 15 places. So we want to round that. Come up here to the formula bar. R-O-U-N-D. Remember, we're dealing with um, a number that is less than 1. So point, and then we want four places, four places to the right. So we're going to go comma 4. Enter. 
Now, properly, that will be 0.33333. So if we increase the decimals, 0.3333, or formatted 33.33%. Let's come up here to cost rate. And this is simply going to be equals this 100% minus this 33.33%. And notice, when we click back in the cell and increase the decimal, there aren't any extra little pieces there. All right, let's click Save. We've solved from our two little pieces, but using a different base here, markup on sell price. When we come back in our next uh, vblog, we'll do a couple more uh, markup on sell prices, including one exciting um, uh, perishable. That means food that goes bad, a cool little example um, of that.